Can I request songs? If you want. What 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 are you capable of being requested? Nice. Join us on the lighter side, Three Blind Mice, this week, with a car that brought love and joy to millions in an era of happiness and fancy clothing. We give you the love bug. Hello, you join us inside the Beetle. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. It does sound good. Yes. So yes, the first problem with the Beetle, finding reverse. There we go. I think that's it, yeah. There we go, reverse. So what we have learned is that neutral, the, 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 the position of the gear stick, neutral is a lot further forward. It looks like it's from a... It looks, it looks like it's in third. It looks like it's in, it could be in first or third. Um, I will admit to have stalled it at least four times because every time you think you're in neutral, uh, you're actually in second, uh, and you bring the clutch up just to check that you are in neutral and it dies. But, you know... The clutch is also... It's a long... It's got a long travel on the pedal but um, no resistance. No resistance. It sort of just goes it's down. Well, no. okay. So the beetle. What do we know? What do we know about the beetle? beetle? Give me some facts and stats. Some facts and stats. I think this particular car we have just learned is post seventy two. Do you want to tell them why? I will tell them why because the rear headlights or rear lights. Uh, are different, they're bigger. They were nicknamed the elephant's foot. Yes, I uh, guy at Auto Waxworks called James told us that, and we will later be comparing his Beetle, which is a uh, modern shape, or the, well, it's not the modern, modern shape, but the, the revamped Beetle when they brought it out, I don't know what year it is, and we can compare the two. That's fact number one. That's fact number one. Ooh. That's, see, that's in, that's in now in second. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just put it in fourth, by accident. <laughs> so, what else do we know about the Beetle? How many did they sell? Do you know that? In I think in 19 I think it was in 1974. Yeah. It overtook the Ford Model T to, wow. become, to become the biggest selling car of all time. How many VWs built? Wow. Volkswagen Beetle sold like 20, over 23, 23 million, million units. Million units. From its dark origins in 1930s Nazi Germany. Yes. To the summer of love in 1967. That's kind of the vibe we're wanting. Yeah, that's what we're aiming for. I mean, talk about a transformation. Well, yes, I you mean, want to give the, someone a second chance. The right, <laughs> being Hitler's right hand man to the sign of love and passion. Yes, the roller coaster ride that is the history of the Beetle. Obviously, its origins, as we've just slightly brushed on, we won't brush on it too much, but no. The origins of the Beetle were from Nazi Germany. Yeah. And now, and then it became 20 years, literally 20 years later, it then became a symbol of counterculture. It, that exactly, it spawned the pants that Alice was wearing earlier. <laughs> <laughs> you can, I mean, it's a, it's a lovely, uh, obviously it's a beef, it's an original beef, it's an air-cooled engine, because it was easier, it was lighter, to, it was easier to maintain, it was a lighter engine. And in 1967, this car would have cost the average American $1,500. Of their precious dollars. Of their precious dollars. <laughs> but again, we're not qualified to give you the spiel on how, you know, uh, what we can tell you is how the clutch feels, where everything how goes. How we feel. How we feel in this car. How it makes us feel as individuals. And that's the thing. Again, it's a Volkswagen Beetle. Some people have a bit of a stigma against them. But it, it makes, makes you, you feel, feel cool. cool.
it was cheap, it was affordable, it was easy to maintain. And it worked. It meant that people our age... <laughs> You're on camera. <laughs> ...could go everywhere they wanted. Aye. Anyway, should we go on and do some open road combat? Yeah. Yes, you must adorn the flowers. Oh, this is how all car journeys should be done. <laughs> right, we're going out on the road now. <laughs> There's no seatbelts on the back. Where do you want to go? Anywhere in particular? Ah, oh, I love this. I want you as my personal minstrel forever. Imagine just crossing the states in one of these with your your dude in the back with a guitar. Well, that's the thing. The windows like, down. That's what you have to imagine. You have to imagine this car in the height of the sixties, with people about our age doing doing this. Yeah. You've got all your mates. You've got room for everything they need, not what they want, but what they need. <laughs> and then and then off they go. But do you know what I mean? It's like it's one of those cars that. When we were in the Alvis the other day, it was nice to go through the gears to hear the crescendo of the engine coming out and whatever else. In this, it's fairly relevant. It's literally just A to B transport. There, there's nothing, you know how like people talk about cars having like the engine as the centerpiece or yeah. the gearbox or whatever else. This car has no centerpiece other than its personality. Everything else fits around the, what, yeah. what the Beetle is. Yeah. It's not particularly good at anything, but it's just right now in 2022. It delivers cool. on the promise of freedom. Aye, that'd be true. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, true. I know where I know where a farm shop is. Oh, a nice zesty little farm shop. We're going to a farm shop in a Volkswagen Beetle. Yeah. Then Ben's gonna take me out for lunch and pay the bill. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you know what I like as well? I have the faith in it that everything will just work. Yeah, well that's the thing, it's such a simple car in, in the best way. That's why everybody loves it. It feels really well built, even now. But so. it's like, it just makes you feel, it's a horrible, the weather is miserable Gross. today. And it just puts you in the best mood. I know ever. there's a romance factor to driving cars you've never driven before. Of course. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. it's just cool to be in. It's, a good, it's brilliant. It's brilliant, this car. And here it is. Right. just had some lovely lunch at the Boycott Farm shop, which is in Boycott. Um, delicious, we both had a salt beef and gherkin and... Sort of a New Yorker style. Yeah, on granary bread, and it was delicious. Right. <laughs> We're so back. We've returned to Bista Heritage, and this is quite cool because this is one of those things that you don't actually get to do that often. Um, James, who works at Auto Waxworks, which is just there. That man polishing that. What's he polishing over there? A Ford. Over Ford there. Fierce. He's You're on camera. <laughs> You're on camera. Give it away. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Uh, he has a O2 plate Beetle and we put it back to back with the one that we've been driving just as a bit of a comparison and there we go and they're not as i pointed out a second ago particularly different sizes in terms of if you compare an original mini with a modern day mini there is a drastic change that's not as big as i thought which is weird as well because we've driven it and the interior feels like completely different because in that, you've got your wheel and then your dashboard and it's just there and you're right up against the windscreen. In this, 
you have much space in you, between There is you. quite, that's not really doing it much justice, is it? But like, that it, it bit, feels weird, especially coming straight out of the old one. And then also, when you turn around to reverse, look how much space there is in the back! I know. It goes on forever. Albeit the back seats are folded down, but... But you've got a lot of room back in there compared to what you'd have in this. This one's slightly wider, obviously. Cars get wider and bigger as it goes, but... You know, I am quite surprised that they're not actually too dissimilar in size. No. Even though that feels, yeah, like you said, that feels so much smaller. Yeah, yeah. And the plan with this, which we can reveal, which we can hopefully document at some point is, so James intends to take this car and convert it to a, I can't remember when they came out, but the RSI Beetle, which they made 250 of. I think so, yeah. I think it was 250, but it was like souped up. It had a V6 engine, it had a body kit. We'll throw a photo in so you can see it. But he wants to take this, essentially, and make it one of those. So he has the own, I don't know if anyone's ever done it, but a conversion of this Beetle to the souped up, super rare Ultra Beetle. So, <laughs> <laughs> the Mega Beetle. What do we know? What do we like about the Beetle? I was saying on the way back that it feels like that's where the starting point for the VW Golf. It just does everything very well. It must have just been such a great all-rounder. Because there's space, there's loads of headroom. You can get four people in it. You've got this section back here, which is almost like an extra boot. You've got a boot up front, which is big enough for things. You can definitely go away in it. In fact, we have him in the back playing guitar. What supercar do you know that can do that? <laughs> None, I say. But yes, there we go. A, a direct comparison, if you will, yeah, yeah, yeah. between so, the old and the, and the new. new. Okay, once again, we've finished our day with a. Uh, a day with a, yes, that's maybe the, that is the series, it's become yeah, the Mini, and now so. this, because we think it sits in the same bracket as the Mini, it's a icon, is the word, yeah, icon is. is a word. We said on the way here, I think it's probably the top three most iconic cars ever. ever. Yes, so once again, this car is for sale with the Motor Shed, they're based here at Vista Heritage, uh, we'll, we'll link, link them. It. Thank you very much to the Motor Shed for lending it to us. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to miss it. I love it. This is it. You'll never get another go. Unless I... Unless you buy this unless exact I rob a bank. car. Unless you beat all of the audience to it. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Yes, we will.